Well, the pandemic has upended life for millions of Canadians, but new research says women, particularly mothers, are bearing the brunt of the economic damage. And experts fear it will result in an increase in postpartum depression and anxiety disorders. With 72% reporting symptoms of anxiety and 41% experiencing depression. And then I have to look after my son, I have to look after my daughter and I have to cook. So it started uh, affecting my mental problem. I started showing frustrations to my kids. My husband is working from home. So it was like uh, for three months without seeing anyone. And I didn't have friends in Canada because we came in July 2019. So I didn't know anyone. I don't know whom to talk to. So it was very difficult for me. This is one big family. And when we go through a pandemic, like we've been going through, it's been quite difficult for a lot of moms. And I have moms around me who suffer a lot. Um, this has had impacts on our mental health. And I really want you today to feel safe, to open up about your own struggles, because we all have our struggles. This uh, you know, lockdown and keeping us away from our friends and even our family, it's gone on so long. And so what I'd like to hear you talk about is where you are now. Seven of my grandchildren moved in with me and it was an opportunity for me to see how hard it is for the children and how hard it is for the parents. When it first, the pandemic first started, it was like, yay, get to work from home. I had one of my grandsons living with me. So I was, it was great. And then I was worried at the same time. And the social piece, I'm very social and not being able to see all the families and see the kids grow is emotional. Et puis, après j'ai vu que les enfants ont été affectés par que avec, euh, parler de la COVID, c'est comme si la mort, on se promène maintenant avec la mort dans notre poche. C'est proche la mort, c'est proche la mort. Et j'ai vu que finalement, j'avais un enfant qui a été très affecté et il avait peur de mourir. Et là, on, on, on se retrouve qu'on n'a pas été, euh, été préventive avant pour expliquer aux enfants, rassurer bien avant. From the date we landed in Canada till like everything started happening really fast was only eight months. And to see my daughter go, go through so many changes like uh, the family, the country, the language, and um, going to daycare, going out of daycare. And we, we, like, we lost members of the family, we lost friends, and we couldn't like be there to say goodbye like because we couldn't travel and to see my daughter leaving all of this and I couldn't like reassure her and tell her um, look in six months everything will be okay uh, look like next year everything will be I, I couldn't she will ask me when all of this is going to end and I didn't have the answer and I can like I can feel her frustration I had my own experience on the pandemic when my husband he used to work 16 days in a month but when the COVID-19 started he was only reduced to work in a week so you can understand the financial burden we had on our shoulders and I was only working part-time but I had to push and get out of my way when I saw my husband struggling with the financial bills on the table and I look at his eyes and all I could see is this frustration on him and he's putting all the pressure on himself, feeling guilty that he can't provide as much as he used to. I was initially okay, but when I started working full time after my maternity leave, it became very difficult for me to manage at home. Uh, plus manage kid at uh, my five-year-old daughter, she started doing her online classes. So managing her with the online class, then doing my own work and then have having a one-year-old daughter whom I can't send to daycare because the daycares were closed uh, that point of time. Before COVID, Celine and I used to go to a lot of mom and baby groups, and that was our happy escape. We actually ended up isolating ourselves for three whole months. 
and that really intensely affected our mental health, our mood support, our physical activity. It really put a toll on us. But right now with the COVID-19, we are all staying home. And you know, the thing, the, the budget that you were spending for the whole week, you spend in half day because everybody's in the home. Kids are running, coming to the fridge, go to the pantry, open all the uh, <laughs> all the covers, you know, looking for a juice, looking for, and then they say, mommy, nothing to eat here. There's no food, you know, so, so it's so tough. I am sad hearing your stories, but I'm also positive because I think you're fighters, and I think that you're you're really you're you're not just letting yourselves be defeated by this. And I think that what is special in what we've said today is that you have brought forward some of those things that the COVID's bad enough, but you also have things because of your history that make things even worse. And I just want to tell you, I love you for telling your story. We established here at the office a food bank, a mini food bank that we never used to have before as an organization. So that when those mothers come, when they are crying uh, here at the table, do we have something to offer them? Was also something that as a staff, we sit down and we negotiate it with food, we button it up with food bank. I think I am a strong ma uh, mother. I am not uh, give up, not give up because uh, we have some uh, big changes uh, happen now. So we always have to be positive. We always have to be open mind and think that the health is important. But to that be important, we have to be good ourselves and that the best for us to our kids. I was brought up by some powerful, powerful women in indigenous communities. And um, I have very powerful women around me to get me through the day. So that's how I cope. I surround myself with the love of powerful, strong warrior women. I want to, to share from such a deep place in my heart to all of you, um, wherever you come from, whatever path you've been on, whatever work you do now, whether it's inside the home or outside the home, you make this country better in every single way. I, I need like a edu education for my son. And uh, under that, um, before I education for myself, yeah. I need a job. I, I, I need a job to work now, but I like to share is uh, Canada is very hell matter to, to live here. I'm, I'm excited, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> don't, don't be scared to ask for help. Yes, everyone uh, uh, really, really kind to hear you. Yes, I, I, I really uh, appreciate it from that. I'm happy to be a uh, people camp. It's very healthy because I feel lonely <laughs> here. Yes, and uh, home visitor is help me a lot. I complain. Yes and like a job and they 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 ask why what where, where can i ask for him yes and yeah that's what i need to talk and i i i thank you for for him thank you <laughs>